Home Alone is a 1990 Christmas film that was written and produced by John Hughes. I didn't know he wrote this as well. It's directed by Chris Columbus, and the plot... Come on, who doesn't know the plot to Home Alone? We stopped him! We have Kevin McAllister, played by Macaulay Culkin. He has this huge family, that I think there's like 11 kids with them, and they're all going to Paris for a vacation. And with all this craziness, like the power shutting off, so they overslept, they're rushing, they're trying to hurry up. But you can't have 11, including me, five boys, six girls, four parents, and a partridge in a pear tree. Did we miss the No, you just made it. Yeah! and they end up forgetting Kevin at home. Now, if I can't say more good things about Home Alone, the original Home Alone, I love this film, I grew up on this film, and especially everything that makes this movie great has to be Macaulay Culkin. Ah! Macaulay Culkin is just so funny, so charismatic. He's one of the few child actors that isn't annoying, that is genuinely funny. At the beginning, you get a little sense that maybe everyone's being too hard on him. Not to say that he's not a smartass or anything, but there's a moment that's actually not his fault, but he gets in trouble for it and he gets sent upstairs to his room while everyone's having pizza. Jealous. And I like the whole idea of him being so upset with his family that he even wishes for Christmas for them to go away. So the fact that they forget about him and he wakes up the next morning with them gone, he, for a moment, thinks that his wish just came true. What else can we be forgetting? Kevin! But before you start to think that maybe his parents, Catherine O'Hare and John Hurd, are assholes or bad parents, no. As soon as she realizes that she left Kevin at home, not only is it funny, the way how she comes to realize it, but her desperately trying to get back home is pretty impressive. And it's really fun, like I said, watching Kevin McAllister having so much fun in this house by himself, how he's just using all of the stuff he's not supposed to use, or he's just dancing around. Crowbars up. <laughs> what about the two robbers? You have Joe Pesci, who pretend to be a cop, and he went and scouted like every house on this block. So him and his partner, Daniel Stern, they call themselves the Wet Bandits. How awesome is that? They attempt to go into this house to rob them of everything. How messed up is that to do on Christmas? Even when you see them rob this other house like across the street and how Daniel Stern, his calling card, his trademark is to leave the water running and like flood their whole house. How fucked up is that? It's my house. I have to defend it. Watching these two attempt to break into the house, but Macaulay Culkin is like nine steps ahead of them. I guess I haven't seen this film in a while, I don't know, but when I was watching it, I was laughing pretty hard at a lot of this stuff. Between the wet bandits getting knocked around, almost acting like the Three Stooges. <laughs> or even the scenes where Macaulay Culkin uses clips from this movie. I gotta find out if this is a real movie, because if it's a real movie, then I need to watch it. Where this old guy who is almost like a mobster and he kills this guy for for owing him money or something and he uses the scene for when he orders pizza and that made me laugh. But then when he uses it again on Daniel Stern, that again, awesome. So yeah, obviously the plot of this kid being left alone by himself and two guys trying to break in, yeah, that might sound like it'd be a lot more disturbing, but this is a family film. It's a Christmas film. It's supposed to be lighthearted. It's supposed to be funny. Probably the best cameo is when Catherine O'Hare is at the airport and she's flipping out about not being able to go back to Chicago for her son. When John Candy shows up, I don't know what it is about John Candy, but just him being him is naturally funny. I got a feeling this is going to be your best Christmas ever. I can't tell you how many times I watched this as a kid, so there's a lot of nostalgic feelings that I had re-watching this. <laughs> So guys, if you couldn't tell, I really love Home Alone. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of Home Alone and Macaulay Culkin. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. 
Later. Home alone. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more?